Hi everyone, this is Mr. Go. Tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to go to your Kia uh, account and visit the site and kind of navigate around to complete some uh, online activities like um, like a flashcards game or um, like a memory game, a concentration game and so forth, and maybe even take some online quizzes. So this is Mr. Go's um, go-to site when you guys are going to be taking your online quizzes. Um, so let's do this first. Let's visit sciencewithgo.com. So go to www.sciencewithgo.com. This will take you to the site. Uh, let me go ahead and go into the Chemcom site, but it's the same uh, link actually if you go to the Go Chem Online site. So Chemcom. Here is your new website uh, for all my Chemcom classes. And you'll notice right here in the middle it says Kia Quizzes. So let's click on this. Mm -hmm. And this will take you to my profile page. Now, um, let's say you're enrolled in period one for ChemCom. I'm going to go ahead and click on here. And then what this does is it tells you exactly what's available for you to take, uh, what's available you, for you to kind of play around with. Uh, let's take a look at this vocabulary list or maybe even this 40 element symbols. So let's click on each one of these activities real quick. As you can see, there's uh, some games that you can play, like matching or concentration. These are vocabulary words that have been set uh, for you uh, for the Unit 1 exam. So let's just play around really quick. Let's take a look at um, some matching. Now you're going to need to enter in your username and password. Now this information has been provided for you by me. If you did not receive an email from me or if you had forgotten what your username and password would be, make sure that you email me at gd.go at hbuhsd.edu. Let me go ahead and type in my username and then my password as well and then log in. Now, if it comes up as Java needs your permission, then make sure that you go ahead and allow that. Now, as you can see, we need to find the matching squares. So column in the periodic table, that's going to be a family. That's perfect. Uh, let's take a look at an educated guess. That is a hypothesis. And so far, so good. Now, if you want to go ahead and show the answers, you can click on this. You can change the size of the cards. Or you can start all the way at the very beginning, and then all the cards will kind of reshuffle itself. Okay. Um, all right, let's take a look at uh, some other things that are available for you to do. So if we go back to home, and let's take a look at uh, some of the other things that are available for you. So let's take back to ChemCom 1. Notice that there's a quiz for you to actually take. Um, now, let's go ahead and click on this, Conversions Online Quiz. And this is a practice quiz uh, that um, I need for you guys to go ahead and complete. Note that you need your username and password to actually take the quiz. Again, if this is uh, something that you do not have, make sure that you email me again. Now note that this has a 10 minute time limit. So you have to complete the quiz within that a lot of time. If not, then what happens is um, if you have only one opportunity to take the quiz, then uh, that opportunity is lost for you. So, uh, and there are no exceptions to this. So, don't uh, all of a sudden decide that you're going to step away from the computer once you started the quiz. Otherwise, it's going to score you whatever you score at the end of the time limit. Okay. Let me just show you really quick what's going on with this. And then let me enter in my password again. And I'll start the quiz. So here's a couple of quizzes, or a couple of quiz questions. A metal is heated in a flame, and a flame is a distinctive color. This information eventually extends to the study of the stars because the color of the spectra starts in the, or stars, or the stars indicate what the elements are present. Which of the following elements is classified as a metal? Uh, and out of the, all of these, I think it's lithium. So click on that, and notice that automatically they will give me the result, the my score, and then tell me which answers I had actually placed again. I'm going to go ahead and click on done, and then that's it. Uh, notice that it took me about 24 seconds. It tells me the results, and then that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, send me an email again at gd.go at hbuhsd.edu. All right, I'll see you guys soon.